Hey guys, Jonas here. I'm on the Swedish West Coast working on a project out here in the water, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm sitting with my old Canon 50D camera. This camera I bought in 2008. Uh, I use it to take still images because that's the only thing you could do with it when I bought it. It wasn't set up for video at all at the time. But I have changed that and now uh, I can actually shoot full HD video with this camera that was only built to take still images. And I want to show you how. All right, this is Louise, my fiance. She is going to help me out with this video. All right, first thing, make sure you have a fully loaded battery in the camera and no accessories like a battery pack or flash connected. This camera uses CF cards and I've been told that we need to use a CF card that is 32 gigabytes or smaller for the firmware update. So first thing we're going to do is make sure our firmware in the camera is the latest Canon firmware. That should be 1.0.9. And if not, we need to install it. Just download it from the Canon website unzip the files and drag it onto your CF card. I've also been told that before we do any firmware updates, it's recommended to restore your camera to default settings using the clear settings menu and then keep your camera in manual mode for the update process. So this was a little bit unnecessary for me since I already had the latest firmware installed, but hey, it's for the video. Now we're going to install a new firmware again to add all these new cool features. This time it is firmware from a company called Magic Lantern. On their website you will find the downloadable firmwares as nightly builds. Just select the camera you have, Canon only unfortunately, and download. Format the CF card you're going to use. Then put the Magic Lantern files, called ML files, on the CF card and run a new firmware update. The Magic Lantern firmware is now going to be linked with the CF card that you put the files on. So whenever you switch to a card that doesn't have the ML files on it, the camera goes back to using the Canon firmware. This also means that you shouldn't delete all the files on the card, so only format the card in the camera, not on the computer, and you should be fine. Magic Lantern opens up a whole range of new features and settings for you to experiment with. You get to the Magic Lantern menus through the trash can button when the camera is in live view. To be able to shoot video, you have to first enable video mode. Then by default, recording starts by pressing the shutter button down halfway. This is a button that you also take the pictures with. You stop the recording by hitting the button in the middle of the large wheel on the back. And also, since this camera was never built to shoot any video, there's of course no way we can magically make an audio recording unit appear, so you will get video but no audio. Still, this is pretty cool. I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys have these old cameras lying around and maybe you're not using them much anymore because you're now into filmmaking, which is pretty much what we have been doing. Uh, now I'm really blown away by the fact that I can use it as a video camera and I can see a whole new range of uses for this camera that I had no idea I could do. If you like this video, please go ahead and check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel and subscribe if you find the channel useful. Uh, give us a thumbs up too if you like this video and see you soon in another video.